welcoming to the Elvis fan family and those of you who are not with us here at Graceland this year, we expect or invite you to be here soon. If you really want to find out what's happening, the, the movie has piqued your curiosity. There's no better place than to discover and explore than Elvis Presley's home. All right, it is my pleasure now to uh, welcome to the stage CEO of Elvis Presley Enterprises, Jack Soden. Thank you, Argo, so much. Well, I, as you all know, the regulars, this is my little job every year. I just get to say welcome and thank you so much for being here. And I can speak with some uh, authority, having been here, I think, every year um, for a lot of years. In any event, I think this is unquestionably the largest crowd we've ever had. You, you all come from all over the world in rain and sleet and snow and fog. And, uh, and we love you and thank you for being here. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, we've been out here in nine degree weather before, haven't we? And it is a, a cool about 50 degrees here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I'm pleased to welcome to the stage now the president of Memphis Convention and Visitors Bureau, Mr. Kevin King. Welcome, welcome back to Memphis. Have you guys had a great weekend? I got to ask this question. How many people are here are from outside of Memphis? Is there anybody here from outside the United States? Oh, that is music to our ears here in Memphis. On behalf of the 50,000 people that promote Elvis every day in the hospitality industry here in Memphis and Shelby County. We want to welcome you back. You know, you aren't fans, you are family. And what do families do? They show up for birthday celebrations. And what a crowd we have here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We love you in Memphis and we love Elvis. By the way, I think there's a Memphis girl here that we're going to hear from in a few minutes. What do you think? Thank you, Kevin. We talk about welcoming so many new Elvis fans. How many people have seen the incredible Baz Luhrmann film, Elvis? We are so excited to have with us here a gentleman who made his acting debut in that movie, please. He played Little Richard. Please welcome. Alton Mason to the stage. How y'all doing this morning? <laughs> My name is Alton Mason. I play Little Richard in the movie. Who here has seen the movie? Okay, okay. How many times have you seen it? <laughs> It's such an honor to be a part of this family, and we are here to celebrate the birthday of the king of rock and roll. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Alton. How about this incredible cake? The theme, of course, is Aloha from Hawaii, and that is the theme of our birthday celebration as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the record-breaking and record-setting concert event. And we are so pleased to have with us today a gentleman who was on stage with Elvis many, many times, including for Aloha, on piano, Mr. Glenn D. Harden. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming. They asked me to step out here and make a long speech, but I got paid last night, so I forget that. Uh, so you're going to get one song, one joke, and uh, then I need to sweep up and get out of here. So thank you all for coming. Happy birthday, Elvis. Thank you, Glendy Harden, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome to the stage now a gentleman who has uh, vision and passion for Elvis Presley's legacy, and you can look around here and see that. He's a guy who uh, has done everything he said he was going to do and en endured Elvis's legacy for future generations. Please welcome the managing partner of Grayson, Joel Weinschenker. 
Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. You know, I, I do, you know, it's been really amazing, this trip. Uh, I can't tell you how many people have just, you know, told me how much they appreciate everything that we've done, everything that we've been able to do for Elvis. Uh, you know, it's been about 10 years since we started on this journey together, making Graceland so much more than it was and so much more than it can be. And what it's going to be five or 10 years from now, I think, is going to be unrecognizable today. Uh, it, it's something that we're going to keep on going because that's what Elvis would want. Yeah. Uh, and just as the movie, you know, this journey for me started 10 years ago with what would Elvis want. Uh, and every decision that we make here and every decision that we make about what we would do for Elvis is really about what would Elvis do, what would Elvis want. Because the second we think that we know better, uh, that what all of his fans and, and all of you would want, uh, better than you know what Elvis would knew what, what you wanted. Uh, that's where we'd fail. So far, I think we've done okay. The movie, which is just an amazing movie, that process started at Graceland five years ago. I brought Baz Luhrmann five years ago, uh, and we sat all night behind the mansion just talking about who Elvis was, what he would have wanted. Uh, and what Elvis would have wanted, what he wanted almost his entire life, was to be in an amazing movie with an amazing director, be part of an amazing film. Uh, and I think we did that for him this year. Uh, and I think that when you look at the Golden Globes and you look at the Oscars, I think the world is going to agree with what we all know. Uh, and I love to bring something new to you every year. I love to bring something that you hadn't seen or hadn't seen in a while. Uh, and you know, this is probably the most famous house in the world. Uh, and all over the world, people want to come here. They want to be here. And I love this house. But really, you know, what I wanted to bring you all this year, it's only one person's home. Uh, and it will only always be one person's home. Uh, and that's the way Elvis would have wanted it. And that's the way that we want it. Uh, so with no further ado, I'd like to introduce the person whose home it is, Lisa Marie Preston. Thank you. It's been a while. I missed you. And I love you. I keep saying you're the only people that can bring me out of my house. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I love you back, and that's why I'm here. So. Today, uh, he would have been 88 years old. Um, it's hard to believe. Um, and I think that he would be proud. I think this year has been an incredible year. I think the movie was incredible. Um, and I'm very proud of it. I hope you guys are too. Yeah. So, I really appreciate, I was trying to think of what to say where I don't sound like I was planning on saying anything <laughs> scripted. Um, but I just, it's just so moving how every year you come from all over the world and it's, it's moving to me and my family. And thank you. It is now my pleasure to read the official proclamation here on Elvis's birthday from the city of Memphis and Shelby County. Whereas Elvis Aaron Presley was born on this day in 1935 to Gladys Love Presley and Vernon Elvis Presley in Tupelo, Mississippi. And whereas at the age of 13, Elvis moved to Memphis, Tennessee, 
where his distinctive God-given gifts as a musician and entertainer would find their fullest voices. And whereas Elvis graduated from Humes High School here in Memphis, Tennessee in 1953, and Elvis's incredible talent came from 706 Union Avenue where he got his start at Sun Studio in downtown Memphis, where legendary Sam Phillips created the music that would change the world. Whereas Elvis gave the world hundreds of unforgettable songs from dozens of timeless albums and singles, including classics such as Heartbreak Hotel, Don't Be Cruel, Are You Lonesome Tonight, and Suspicious Minds. And whereas Elvis interrupted his career in 1958 to serve the United States Army, he was loved around the world, starred in more than 31 films and two concert documentaries, and several television specials as well. And whereas today, Elvis's unparalleled style and artistry continues to thrill audiences, create fans, and inspire new generations of musicians around the world. And whereas no matter how far away his career took him or how high his fame carried him, Elvis remained steadfastly devoted to Memphis and the city that he loved, the city which inspired him, and the city he called home. Now, therefore, we, Jim Strickland, mayor of the city of Memphis, and Lee Harris, mayor of Shelby County, Tennessee, do hereby proclaim this eighth day of January 2023 as the day to celebrate the life, legacy, work, and 88th birthday of Elvis Aaron Presley. We'd like to welcome everybody back on stage here to cut the cake, and we will all sing happy birthday together. All right, are we ready? On the count of three, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elvis. Happy birthday to you. Cut the cake. <laughs> it's not frozen this year. All right, everybody, big round of applause for everybody on this stage, and happy birthday to Elvis. We invite you to join us across the street in the Elvis Presley's Memphis Complex to have cake, and we'll also be opening the brand new exhibit, The Making of Elvis. Thanks, everybody, for being here, and happy birthday, Elvis.